everyone, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the very beginning of this video where I showed you the Jujube Classical Convertible Diaper Bag on the body. As you saw in that video, this diaper bag is convertible, which means you can wear it over the shoulder, crossbody, and as a backpack, which as a lot of you guys know is my favorite way to wear bags. So I actually have the Jujube Classical Convertible Backpack here in the gorgeous black rose, and this particular print features rose gold hardware, and the rest of the bag is black, which I think actually is super classy looking. Now if you're here to check out this video because you want to see a comparison between this bag and the BFF, I will be doing a couple comments comparing the two, but in all honesty, this bag is a bag of its own. So it has a lot of different features that the BFF does not have, and the BFF has a lot of features that this bag does not have. So this video is going to be a review for the Classical Convertible, as well as a packing video, and an on the body video, which you guys already saw. So unlike the BFF, this bag is on a much lower price range. So instead of being in the $180 range, this bag is actually only $70, which is a steal, because I think this bag has a ton going for it, and I actually really like it. I took it out earlier today, and exactly how I have it packed up now is how I used it while I was out and about with my two kids earlier and it worked really great for us and it's actually a very comfortable bag so I'm very excited to tell you guys about this bag. So as you can see in the front here you have a double zip opening. This bag does have gussets on the inside so I will show you that when I open the bag for the packing portion. You have two bottle pockets on the sides. They are neither one insulated as far as I can tell. They're just nice and open. There's no elastic or anything. This is the back of the bag. You do have a pocket back here for the change pad. This comes with a light change pad, which is what I have back there, and that's the only thing I have back there. So here are your backpack straps. They do not really feel like memory foam. They feel more like just a regular foam, but as I've mentioned, this is a fairly comfortable bag to wear. I was wearing it for a little while earlier today, and I did not feel uncomfortable at all. It was very comfortable. These you can easily remove, just detach from the top D-rings here, from the top and the bottom, and you can use this bag over the shoulder or crossbody with the strap that comes with this bag. So this is the strap that comes with the bag. You can wear this, as I mentioned, over the shoulder and crossbody. As far as I can tell, it doesn't really feel like there's any memory foam in there. It just feels like there might be a slight bit of foam that will help keep this bag a little bit more comfortable on your shoulder when you wear it. So this is included with the bag. Another great thing about this bag is that it actually comes with these stroller hooks here. So I will show you guys real quick how these work, um, but these just hook right through the D-rings here. You just loop them right through here, pull this through the hole, tighten a little bit, and voila, these can go over your stroller, a shopping cart, anything like that. Um, so I like having the ability to have those with the bag. I think that's a great detail to throw in there. So you have one for each side of the bag. One of the differences this bag has with the BFF is that it does not feature the bottom feet like the BFF does. So that extra protection that you get from the BFF with the metal feet you do not have with this bag, but you can just keep it off the ground and that'll keep the edges and things a little bit more intact. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, this bag is machine washable just like all GGB bags. So that is of course a great feature. And if you guys need a video to show you how to wash GGB, I will link it right over here for you. So let's go ahead and get into the pockets of this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the mommy pocket here. So another difference that you'll see with this bag is that instead of having the Jujube metal zipper pulls, that you have these fabric ones instead, um, but that really doesn't change the functionality of the bag. So this particular mommy pocket is more like the hobo bee. If you own a hobo bee, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's kind of hidden in this piece of fabric in the front here. When you open it up, it is once again like the hobo bee a little bit. You have a little bit of fabric in front here where you can put your phone. So that's where I have mine. This bag also does not come with a tech pocket, so keep that in mind. So I have my iPhone 8 Plus just down in the front there. And you also have two mesh pockets here, and this is where I have my keys, which also are on the key leash that comes with this bag. And then on the other side, I have my Be Charged in blackout. And if you have blackout, it is a perfect match for this bag. You don't have to worry about the hardware clashing. So I love that. So that is all that I have in this very front pocket here. The zippers are very smooth and easy to access in this bag. So let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. As I mentioned, this bag does have the gussets. So 
it opens a lot like the BFF and that way you don't have to worry about your things falling out. In the very front here, you have two mesh elastic pockets. These are the perfect size to hold your small set pieces, which is exactly how I have them. So over here, I have a blackout small set piece. And in here, I just have a few first aid needs, clippers, Advil, band-aids, gauze, all that good stuff. On the other side here, I have a few things for myself and I have Prism Rose here. And guys, this print in person is so pretty. I really love it and it looks great with this bag. So in here, I just have lip gloss, a mirror, folding hairbrush, some hand cream, and some other things for myself. Also, if you guys are looking to purchase this bag, I will leave my affiliate link down in the description below for you, and I would love if you would shop GGB with me. I do earn a small kickback from sales, and that really helps keep my channel going, so I really appreciate when you guys shop through there. So on the inside here, that was all you have on the very front. On the very top here, I just wanted to make sure you guys could see that you have a ton of room in this bag, even though this bag is just a hair smaller than the BFF. You can still fit, I feel just as much in here. So I have my son's jacket in here and this is kind of a semi fluffy jacket, semi kind of nor normal jacket, <laughs> but it's great for around here in the winter time. So I have that on top, that's 18 month size. I totally forgot to go through the side pocket over here, but I do have my son's iPhone over here. This is for my four year old. We used that while we were out and about earlier today to keep him busy. And that's all I've gotten there. But this is the way I have the rest of the bag set up. Hopefully you guys can see real well. You have a mesh pocket over here. And over here you have an insulated pocket. It is not like that squishy insulation that you're used to with Jujubee. Um, and I will try and show you guys what that looks like in just a minute here when I pull that bottle out. But I also have a medium set piece down in the front here, a large set piece, my planner, and then a change of clothes. So I wanted to make sure you guys could see you can fit almost as much in this bag as you can in the BFF. However, it does have a few differences on the inside, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through what I have in the side pockets first. So over here, I actually have a bunch of toys for my son. He is still chewing on a lot of stuff, so I have a couple of teether toys. I also have a little car down in there and one of these things. I don't know why he likes those so much, but he does. <laughs> That's all that I had in that pocket, but it works really great for holding toys and things like that. And you can definitely fit a medium set piece in one of these pockets as well. On the other side here, as I mentioned, this is your insulated pocket. And it has a lot of space. Like it, you don't feel like you have to squeeze something to get it in there. Um, and I have a water here for my 18 month old. And I'll show you guys that pocket in just a second when I pull a few more things out of here. I have my medium set piece in Prism Rose. I seriously love the lining on this bag, obsessed with it. Look at that pretty pink color, I love it. So in here I just have a few snacks. Um, earlier today when I was using this bag, I let my 18 month old have one of these guys. So he had a fruit pouch, and then normally I wouldn't split these snacks between the two, but I was kind of in a pinch and had to. So my four year old got this. And then I also have an Inno Baby snack tower with some Cheerios in it, so that always saves me a little bit. So that was in my medium set piece. Right behind that, I have my large set piece. And in here, I just have some diapering needs. So I have uh, three size four diapers, and then I have my wipe pouch 30. This holds all my wipes and things. So that's all that I have in this bag, but it allows me to just take this little bag, grab it and go if I need to, and I can leave the big bag with my husband. So that's all that I have in the main compartment in the very back. As I said before, guys, you can see a little bit better there. I have my happy planner here. A little hard to get it out because it's um, an elastic pocket, but otherwise it fits really great. So I have my happy planner back there. It's a personal planner size. And then I also have his change of clothes back here. I'm not even gonna bother to pull those out, but I have a pair of socks, a sweater, and some pants. And those are normally not even something I need to use, but they're there just in case. So now I wanna show you guys this pocket. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Maybe you can. Um, so it's like a shiny metal, kind of looks like foil, but it's not. But it's, I know it, it has to be insulated in some way um, for it to look like that. So if you have a bottle of breast milk or you're trying to keep formula at a certain temperature, that is a great pocket to store that. And that is all that I have in this bag, but I do want to show you guys because I know somebody is going to ask but I have my fuel cell here. 
So here's my fuel cell in Prism Rose. If you guys don't know what this is, it is an insulated lunch box. So you can put your breast milk in here, you can put your formula, you can put an ice pack, sandwiches, all that stuff can go in this bag. So a lot of people wanna know if this is going to fit into the classical convertible, and the answer is yes, it does. So it's, a, like I said, this bag is not much different in size than a BFF. So if you scooch this all the way to the side, you actually have a good amount of space left over. You guys can see that. And here's my large set piece again. Put it right up next to that. So you guys, you can totally use this bag to hold a lot more than you think you can. So that is my review and packing video and on the body for this particular bag. And I have nothing but good things to say about it. I absolutely love the price point. I think it's a really great price point for people who want to own a GGB bag but may not be able to afford the more expensive ones. You still have the GGB name, the GGB style. I love that this bag is convertible. You guys know I love convertible bags. Um, so, I mean, there's not enough good things I can say about this for the price point. And I love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe while you're here if you're new. I have a lot more coming in 2019. Thanks for watching.